we tell ourselves we won that race because we declared the finish line to be the moon. But practically every other important benchmark for access to space, Russia did first. They put up the first woman in orbit, the first dark-skinned person, a Cuban. Remember, Cuba was on their side at the time. Did all this before we did. And we don't tell ourselves that enough because we, we, I think justifiably, we celebrate the fact that we got to the moon and that's an interesting target for anybody, for our species. And in all fairness to we as Americans, the plaque that's on the moon says, we come in peace for all mankind. That's what it says. And there's a picture of the earth, the two halves of the earth. We didn't say we have conquered the moon and we will try. Yes, there's an American flag there because that's what people do when you're in a mountaintop and things. But the plaque that contains the messaging, that felt honest to me. So when Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, the three astronauts on Apollo 11, returned to Earth, they were received worldwide. And if you speak to Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, at the time, the, what they would tell you is people would come up to them and not say, you did it. They would say, we did it. We, humans, did it. And I was particularly moved upon learning that because any triumph of science and technology is really for us all because we are humans and these are triumphs of the human mind and our ingenuity.